I'm Laura Spinner, and I'm here at Namaste Farms visiting my dear friends Sean and Natalie Redding and their family. And this video is going to be about tail spinning long locks using the magic thumb method. For anyone who doesn't know what tail spinning are is, tail spinning is um, an advanced spinning technique where you spin long locks and it can be any type of long lock, tease water, Wensleydale, mohair, any type of lock that has a tail hanging down. And they make yarn like this. There are many ways to do tail spinning, but since I tend to spin for doll hair, I really wanna make a yarn that is going to hold up under rough play and tugging. And so using the magic thumb method, which I demonstrated for lock spinning in a previous video, is really a great way to make yarns like this. So the first step is preparing your fiber. Um, this is a handful of long locks. So here's one, for example. And the way I like to prepare for this method is to find the shorn end, which is the end that was cut when the, um, when the animal was, sh was sheared. And this is the tail end, the tip. So you want to take the shorn end and just fluff open some of the fiber at the top, just like that. Just enough so that when you're spinning it, there is going to be enough grab from this teased wool here to grab onto the fiber that will hold the lock in place. So I have my prepare here and I have them all laid out so that the shorn end is up here and the tails are hanging down. I also just have some other fiber that I'm going to um, lock spin and attach these tails to it while I'm spinning. But then at the end, I will show you a method which lets you spin one tail to the next to the next. But this method is really, I'm showing you a way that you can add uh, long locks into your yarn and have them hang down and look really beautiful. So I'm gonna start by just attaching some fiber and using this, my magic thumb method, pinching my thumb and lock spinning a little length of it. Now I'm at the part where I want to attach my tail. I'm going to take the tail, tease open the shorn end, shorn end, and then lay it underneath the fiber from the, from the lock spinning. This fiber can be um, lock spun, it can be top, it can really be anything. Um, it's just like a substrate of wool to grab onto this tail. So I treadle and I am literally spinning these two pieces together, the shorn end of the long lock and the fiber that's here in, in my yarn. Letting that twist and then I'm going to grab the rest of the fiber so I can continue spinning. I'm going to lay that underneath so that the lock is sandwiched in between a bunch of teased fiber and then let that spin so that it's it is actually part of the yarn it's not plied into it it is actually spun like a lock into the rest of the yarn so you can see how that is really in there and how pretty it looks hanging down so let's do another one spin a little bit more and let that one go on to the bobbin. And let's do the next one. So again, I'm going to take this lock. That's my prepared shorn end. I'm gonna lay it underneath. I'm gonna spin. Let those fibers all twist together. Before I finish spinning and run out of fiber, I wanna attach a little bit more to spin that into place. So I'm just going to show you very briefly 
that this um, can hang down. I don't know if you can see it, but that's really on there. That is not going anywhere. One more. Let's take this nice long one here. Again, I'm going to lay it underneath like that. It really is just like lock spinning or adding something into your yarn. Just ignore that little tail that's there. Let these fibers twist together. You spin about half of the fiber from the top of the lock and then you add the rest of your continuing fiber to sandwich it into place. That's a little thick right there, but it's really going to relax nicely when you wash your yarn. And that's really in there. Um, the last thing I want to show you is a way, if, if you want to have continuous locks, one next to the other, um, it's very time consuming, but it makes a pretty impressive yarn. Again, you just do it the same way. Put your fiber underneath start twisting, but then you add the next, next lock. And you, you're, you use the fiber from the top of the previous lock as part of your sandwich. So you really are spinning two right next to each other. And then if I want to have another one right next to that, again, have half of the fiber from the top of this lock sandwich sandwiching half of the fiber on the top of this lock and now I'm just going to spin them and show you these three together and you don't have to worry if it looks extra twisted because the twist is really going to relax but, you know, if you can see this little section here of these three, four actually hanging down. So I'm just going to finish this with a little bit more. Magic thumb. And then I am going to Take this out so you can see a little bit. Now again, this type of yarn does take a long time to do. It really, it really takes a lot of time stopping and starting if you do it this way, but it does result in a really, really special, beautiful yarn. And it's very, you know, even if you just have a few long locks, to be able to incorporate them into your spinning like this can make a really unique and beautiful yarn. So that is tail spinning with the magic thumb method. If you have questions, please contact me, Laura Spinner, on Facebook. And thanks for listening.